Hi everyone, I'm Nicholas. Welcome back to today's video. So today I want to address something that I think should be implemented across all different kinds of operating system. But unfortunately, it is something that Microsoft had copyrighted. So therefore, you wouldn't find this um, function here on a Mac OS. I don't know if there is a specific term for this function, but let's call it Windows Snapping. So if you've been a Windows user, you are very familiar with this function because if let's say you have a lot of windows, a lot of tabs open up, you can pull them to the side of your screen for them to snap into place. And I find this very, very useful when you want to work with several tabs together. So let's say if you're doing an assignment or whatsoever, you are able to um, you know, have both your tabs open up side by side. And not only that, you can also move the different tabs around to different corners for them to snap into place. Now, unfortunately, there, that is not what it is here on the MacBook. In order for you to do this, you have to long press the little green icon here. And as you can see, tile window to the right of screen. And then it allows you to choose another application. So, this to me seems a little bit inconvenient as to what windows offers now fret not there is an application or more of an add-on i would say that you can install on your mac os now that is called tiles as you can see there are a couple of different hot keys or you know different shortcuts that you can quickly um, place your windows either to the upper left corner you know the bottom right corner even on the left or the right. So I'm just gonna quickly demonstrate on how this works. Now with a similar setup that we have before, instead of going to the green icon and tile the windows to the left or to the right, I can just hold on to the windows like this, hold on to the tab, bring it to the side, and it snaps into place just like that. And this as well. So see how this works so efficiently and it, it is what you would expect on a windows desktop now if i would want to unpin them i can just quickly pull them apart and not having to go through um, the hassle that i would have to unlatch uh, this tab over here and i would have to bring the both the different windows tabs together now other than that if you would like your window to be snapped at the upper quarter of the corner you can do that as well so Right here, pull it up to the upper left, and there you go, you have a quarter of the screen being snapped to in place. If you would like it to be in half, just drag it to the side, and there you go. If you want it at the bottom, yep, it works just like it should. So as a long-term Windows user, I just find it very shocking that um, this feature does not exist on the Mac OS. So if you're a Mac OS user yourself, I would highly recommend that you try out this feature because in terms of efficiency, it really helps you out when you want to multitask. So in my case, let's say I have an assignment and there are different articles that I have to look up for. You can quickly place them side by side, just like this. All right, so um, I just want to talk a little bit more about the application. So just, that, just so you guys know that this is a completely free add-on to be installed onto your Mac OS. And of course, you can donate to the developers if you would like to. But a big thank you to the developer because they made this free for everyone to be in downloaded and installed onto your Mac OS. Okay, so just want to talk a little bit more over here. So let's go to about tiles. Now, time to time, there may be a uh, an update. So therefore it can work seamlessly with every update um, of the Mac OS. In the general section, you can choose whether you want tiles to be startup um, at your login, which I would recommend you to do so. Otherwise you would have to manually launch tiles. And uh, there's also a part here where appearance. So I would suggest to keep this on as well. So if any time, if you want to quit tiles or anything, you can do so in your menu bar and last but not least there is also animations which you can disable or enable as you can see over here this is the quick animation that um, you usually have and if you turn that off uh, it's okay as well right so here we have the hotkeys section whereby i believe they are customizable yep 
looks like they are okay anyway so um if you have these different key sets memorized or if you have a you know a hotkey of your own you can do that as well but this would help you to quickly snap the windows into place without you even having to move the mouse so that is pretty amazing and you can keep this on or off last but not least this is very interesting so as you can see here remember how when we pulled the different windows to let's say to the left and you get that half screen well if you can change that to a full screen so that depends on uh, your your preference as well over here so pulling up to the very end edge of the screen over here this would give you a full screen effect and yeah you can change according to your preference you can also alter the different zone thickness that you would like to snap into so let's you see the blue lines there if i can increase them which means you will snap the windows into place even faster than you would like it to be now, i'm still very shocked that for a free application there is so much customizability over here for you to uh, adjust according to your own preference so this is pretty much it this is tiles and i very much recommend if any of you are looking for that windows snapping feature on the mac os so i hope you guys did enjoy today's video please give this video a thumbs up if it has helped you thank you all so much for watching my name is nicholas and i'll see you guys in the next one